Well, howdy. It's a typical stormy day in Oregon. I can't go out shooting. My guns are all clean. So I thought, well, I was talking to a buddy on, on a, a IRC channel and said, you know, he, he wanted to know what was in my toolboxes. So I thought, well, that might make an interesting video. So starting with this first one, it's an old Craftsman. Top one here is full of reamers of various kinds, as you can see. from uh, This is an assortment I've got of them. These are all small ones in the first two boxes, and then ginormous ones like this in this box. The bottom crate contains mainly taps and dies. So that's, that's box number one, basically. Moving over here, oh, let's see if I can do this, yeah. This is box number two. Uh, I had it shut because, well, the roof leaks. Uh, these are all uh, gauges of one kind or another. Uh, what's this? I think, oh yeah, these are all more taps and dies. Taps. Taps. Oh. Uh, taps, <laughs> including a couple of uh, pipe taps. Uh, yeah, that's a... Uh, Greenfield collection, so is that. Uh, things I picked up at estate sales or uh, oh, all sorts of places. Here's some dies. I have a lot of dies. Uh, there is no bottom one on this section. There's a uh, uh, sort of a roller cart everything sits on. This one, we're beginning to get into my machine tools. Uh, these are all micrometers. Oh, come on now. Uh, let's put these back up. And let's see, what do we have here? This is a horrible freight, uh, uh, one of those thingies. This is interesting. This is a, uh, uh Dow caliper that's, uh, with all of the extras. I picked this up at an antique store. Now let's try here. Let's see. Here, another micrometer. Various uh, metal parts for things. Uh, take, take too long to explain stuff, but uh, this is a, a, a depth of micrometer uh, with different different uh, things you can put on it. Uh, this will show you how deep a hole is. And these are really cool. These are old, old, old style uh, antique uh, uh, measuring, like a dial caliper, only uh, in the days before dials. Uh, these are from the 1920s or earlier. That one's by uh, Ideal, and I think this one's a Sterrett. Yeah, it's a Sterrett, but the same thing, basically. You know. By the way, they do still work, which is kind of cool. In here we have uh, mainly uh, uh, you know, feeler gauges, uh, and uh, the, this is a, a gauge of uh, a pitch gauge for uh, for cutting cutting uh, threads. I think I have a few of those. Oh, this one's sticking. Uh, itty bitty uh, ruler thing. Uh, various rulers. I mean, I have. Oh gosh, that's for figuring out uh, uh, drill uh, the the pitch on a on a drill bit. Here we have some cool stuff. This is a really big Sterrett micrometer. I, I love this thing. It's, uh, it's proved handy a few times. A small uh, uh, metal rule, you never know. And an itty, itty bitty micrometer. And this is my favorite kind of micrometer. It's a dial micrometer. It, you see it's got a dial on it, but it's not, it's not, it's digital, but it's not battery operated. I love these. I've got three of them, I think. And in here we have more, more micrometers. Uh, I think this is a, a test indicator. Come on. Oh, heck, can't open the damn thing. And this is a pantograph for uh, copying letters and, and applying them for uh, making things. This, this is in the days before computers. This is how you would make a poster. Well, it also is good for uh, uh, putting something on a, uh, a piece of metal if you're going to engrave it. And down here is just a, a parts drawer that I picked up that uh, I have all kinds of metal things, gauges, 
stuff like that in. Like the, you can see these are, are quite, I think these are shop made, but they're, they're quite handy for, for holding round stock when you're gonna be doing stuff to it. And, oh gosh. And uh, these are uh, gunsmith uh, uh, gizmos for uh, checking um, uh, pitch on, uh, on screws. And uh, it's a shop made uh, one, two, three block. Oh, oh. and these are, uh, uh, what, uh, those things, <laughs> various kinds. Oh, I'm lousy words, but I know what I'm talking about, even if you don't. <laughs> Okay, this one here, I'm not going to go, I'm just going through this quickly because it's just not worth it to go into depth on this stuff. Uh, what's this say? Uh, here's a, tr a trig simplifier dial. <laughs> and here's a uh, oh, rather large Char's uh, uh, caliper. Extra battery. You never know when you need an extra battery. Come on there. How come you're not fitting in there? Well, you know worky. Oh, that's why you know worky. Okay. That in there, and that in there. That's the way it ought to be. Okay, let's see, what else do we have? We have uh, more calipers, only these ones are uh, old style, and pitch gauges. And uh, this is very important. Oh, come on, stop that. This is a Sterrett uh, uh, balance gauge, and it's uh, it can be uh, uh, adjusted, and it's uh, quite handy for level leveling things. Uh, this is an old one. Also works. What's in here? I forget what's in here. Oh, how about that? Oh, that's a... Oh, the piece is for another depth micrometer. I've got, oh yeah, it is. There's the depth micrometer and the various pieces that fit it. Uh, let's see here. Uh, these are welding gauges. It's a set of taper gauges. It's kind of handy. Uh, this is a shop-made uh, right angle that I picked up at a, I don't remember where. And isn't that gorgeous? That's just pretty. And so are most of these. You know, I just, that's why I have them, because they're pretty. Not so much for their use, but because I collect things. And tools is one of the things I collect. These are all machinist tools of various kinds. Uh, calipers, of, you know, and, and, and what do they call that? Squares, I think. Oh, compass. That's what it's called, a compass. Okay, there's a, oh, an all-trade set. It works. It doesn't work great, but it does work. This is a, uh, this is like the stare at last word, only it's by Brown and Sharps. I forget what it's called. Ooh, pinched myself there. And uh, another depth micrometer. Oh, boy. And what else do we have? Oh, yeah. Uh, these are all uh, last words. The last word was the ultimate little stare at uh, uh, test, get, test, uh, was it dial test or something like that? Stick this on a mill and uh, figure out what's uh, what's what with it. This is a cheap Craftsman. I think it's Craftsman. Yeah, Craftsman of, of one. I picked this up at a local used store. Okay, come on now. How do you fit? Where's the square peg fit this round hole? That thing right there is is worth the the, the that and these snugs are worth it right there. Oh, gosh. Well, heck, I'm just going to put it back together later. <laughs> this, on the other hand, is kind of cool. Brown and sharp. It's a uh, highly precision depth indicator. And you use this with a, uh, uh, well, you can use it with, with a uh, surface plate, which I happen to have a surface plate. <laughs> you, you never know when you might need something like that, so I've got one. Now, let's back up a little bit. Down here, okay, uh, various things. Okay, there's some uh, 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 blocks. Oh, let's see. Uh, these are uh, stones for uh, honing things. This this is a special specialized sort of micrometer used for used to be used for uh, 
uh, drum brakes. But I picked it up cheap and I thought, well, that's worth holding on to. And here we've got uh, another one of the, uh, yeah, this is a, a brown and sharp, another sort of uh, last word length thing. And here we have a uh, bunch more micrometers. Uh, I have a thing for micrometers. Let's see here. These are micrometers, or no, these are, are gauges that are set up. These are both the same. But let's show you what they do. This is uh, on this uh, articulating uh, stand that you can stick this onto a uh, <coughs> magnetic stand and then hook this to this and then plug it in somewhere and, and te test things. It's, it's very, very handy. And this is the same thing. Dial indicator like that. And that's uh, some various weird tools that I picked up. Usually at uh, farm auctions. Around here there's a lot of farm auctions. And then we go over to here. I bought this at Har Harbor Freight long time ago and it's proved to be one of my favorite oh come on now one of my favorite toolboxes though okay this this is junk pure junk uh it doesn't have much in it anymore but uh, uh but it's uh I think this is uh uh radius gauges yes that's radius gauges that's uh Precision pins of various kind, not so precision pins. Uh, sort of a one, two, three block, and uh, more pins, more pins in here. Uh, this is my collection of uh, dials that are uh, in various states of disrepair or need to be repaired, or some of them actually work. But uh, and uh, various measuring devices of one kind or another. That's where all of these went. I've been looking for all of these little uh, six-inch uh, rules for a long time. Okay, make a note of that. I'm glad I looked in here. And, uh, well, these are for, uh, well, not these. Let's see, where is it? This gizmo and this gizmo do the same thing. These are for, a, for dressing a grinding wheel. Um, this one uses this style wheels, and they're replaceable. But finding these anymore is very, very difficult. I picked those up at a uh, an auction. Uh, these things wear out, as you can tell, uh, over time. That I'm not quite sure what it is. I should ask. Uh, I should have given this to uh, Lyle Peterson for his "What Is It" series, because <laughs> I have no idea what it is. Something I picked up, and these are some snugs for something really, really huge. I don't know what, but I picked them up. <laughs> Okay, down here we have, oh, this is quite interesting. This is gauge blocks. These are not, uh, I, I don't think you can even ring these anymore, but, uh, oh, I do have the keys. But these are gauge blocks, and I'm, I'm only missing one, two, three, four of them. Uh, the, I got all the rest, and I have, well, I have other gauge blocks as well. That will make up the ones that are missing. Uh, if you're interested, go to YouTube and, and Google or, or do a search on gauge blocks. There are many uh, machinist videos that will show how to use these things. Handy, handy, handy. Very handy little tools. And this is another mini, I think. Oh yeah, this is a Johansson Dearborn set of gauge blocks. These are, are grade AA precision blocks that uh, they will ring. And then here I've got a few, uh, just a few spare gauge blocks. Also some pins in there, or pin punches. Oh, and isn't that cool? It's an itty bitty little, uh, 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 what do you call it? It's a torque wrench, but it's just a tiny little one. Isn't that cool? Uh, some, some grinding stones gasket punches and oh blocks and hammers of course you got to have hammers underneath I've got oh, more torque wrenches and and oh, other toolboxes over here and other toolboxes over there here this one's kind of interesting uh, that's my lathe 
over there. And this is the uh, box I keep all the tools for it in. Uh, let's see. These are all cutting stones of various kinds, and this is how to set one for uh, cutting, getting the uh, cutting uh, surface prepared. Here's a bunch more. Let's see. Uh, these are all uh, centers of various kinds. And uh, these knurling, uh, those, are, those are knurling uh, screw or blanks, and this is knurling uh, tool. Uh, more pins for high-speed steel ones and a few carbide. And down here, well, that's just another junk drawer. This one over here, oh, let's see what's in here. Pin or punches, punches, more punches, and chisels up here. Here, oh, I don't know, gosh. This is sort of a junk, junk all, catch all. Oh, that one's empty. So is that one. These are junk all or catch all sort of toolboxes I picked up from here or there. Not using. Well, that one's got a few things in it. Uh, and then down here, that's my collection of vices. Sorry about uh, the drunken sailor thing, routine with this GoPro. And. Tap wrenches, die wrenches, small tap wrenches, and various other things. Saw blades down there. You know, this one I just picked up, and I think it's empty. Uh, around, I've got other toolboxes, like uh, this one over here is mechanic tools. You know, your typical mechanic tools. And this one over here contains drill bits, drill bits, drill bits, drill bits. And that one over there contains predominantly uh, fixtures for the uh, for the mill, for that mill. And over here, that's screwdrivers. Those are reloading dies. And this is the uh, reloading station. By the way, I'm uh, keeping the place warm. An old style. Oh, this is my other older mill, or older lathe, I mean. Uh, set up, by the way, right now for uh, uh, rifling. Got to work on that black powder. This is how I'm keeping the place warm at the moment. I've got a lead pot on. <laughs> I do a lot of casting, but uh, now the lead at this time of year also adds one other feature. It keeps the place from getting so bloody cold that you, you're always just uh, uh, running back in the house just to warm up. Anyway, that's what I'm doing on a cold, uh, cold day in Oregon.